So what are Photoshop extensions? Photoshop extensions extend the capabilities of Photoshop. For example, the built-in Adobe color themes is an extension. It helps us pick the right colors, create color palettes, and even explore palettes created by other artists. The infinite color panel that we reviewed a couple of months ago is also an extension that helps us color grade. Today, I'm going to show you where you can find hundreds of free Adobe authorized extensions and how to easily install them if you're a CC member. And guess what? It's right there inside of Photoshop. Yes, it's always been there. Before we move on to the video, do you want to play the Photoshop game? How about participating in a Photoshop battle? Wouldn't that be interesting? Photoshop Battles is a free platform where you can compete with your Photoshop skills and creativity to create the funniest, fittiest, or the most beautiful edit. Okay, here's how it works. To start the battle, an interesting image is selected, which you can download. Then, your challenge is to think out of the box and find the most creative way to edit the image with Photoshop and post it back to the platform. Show the audience what ideas you can come up with and your work will be voted and ranked amongst others. You can start your own battles or simply participate in the ones created by the community. It's a great way to get a head start in your journey to learning Photoshop and just have fun with it. Check out psdbattles.com or click the link in the description below to sign up and start Photoshop battling today absolutely for free. So here we are back into the video, back into Photoshop, and this is how you get free extensions. All you need to do, it's just right there. Go to Windows and then find extensions on Exchange. Just simply click on that one. Now, before we move forward, just make sure that you're signed into your Creative Cloud account. It makes the process so much more easier. So have a look at this. It opens up your browser and opens up this page where you can find tons of extensions. Not all of them are free, but there are some which are free. Have a look at these wonderful extensions right there. Right? Interesting, isn't it? Wow. Now, some are free, some are paid. If you want to just sort out the free ones, all you have to do, click on this button called free. Or if you want to just buy the paid ones, click on paid. So I'm going to click on free. Have a look at it. There are 296 free extensions that you can download right now. And downloading them is very, very easy. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and search for a stock photo extension. So I'm gonna just start search stock photo and let's see what comes up. All right, so this is amazing. Free stock search. It's gonna give you free stock photos from inside of Photoshop. Let's go ahead and click on that one. Not only Photoshop, InDesign, a lot of other software support. Have a look, free stock photos inside Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, Premiere and After Effects. Isn't that amazing? So all you need to do to download it and to install it, just click on the free button, that's it. Let me just close loading. Just click on this button and accept and continue. Make sure you're signed in. Have a look, I'm already signed in. Look, it says extension acquired. Now all you need to do, as simple as that, just restart Photoshop and it will be right there. So I'm just gonna restart Photoshop and get back to you. Now before I restart Photoshop, have a look, this notification showed up, add on free stock search was installed automatically. Now if that does not happen automatically, click on this button called download install another way and follow the instructions. But for me, it happened automatically, so I'm gonna restart Photoshop. Now that Photoshop is restarted, have a look at it. I can go to window, and extensions, it will be there. Free stock search. Easy. Click on that one and the extension will show up. Now you need to just sign in with your Adobe ID. So I'm just gonna quickly sign in. Now that I've signed in, I'm gonna type in anything. Let's say clouds. Let's see if the photos show up. Wow, it just showed up like magic. You can also choose photos, vectors, and videos. Some I'm just going to choose photos and maybe you want to add clouds over here. You can simply click on any one of them. I'm just going to randomly click here on this one. And it adds it as a smart object layer. Amazing. Now you can adjust it, add clouds to the sky. And you can simply watch this tutorial on adding clouds. But you get the point. This is how to install an extension so easily. You can now change the blend mode to probably screen and adjust the clouds. You get the idea. Now I have installed a lot of other extensions from Adobe. Go to Windows and then Extensions, it will be right there. The recent one that I did was Luminosity Masks. It very easily creates luminosity and saturation masks for you. So let's go ahead and create a luminosity mask. Click on that one. And we're gonna create a highlights mask. It gives you 
a visual representation of how the mask is gonna look. Let's move it right here. All right, and let's collapse this one. You can move the feather to the right or to the left to see which areas do you want to get selected. White other areas which will be selected, black other areas which won't be selected. So this is great. Now, what do you wanna create with it? Selection, simple selection or channel or curves layer. I wanna create a curves layer. Click on that one and name the layer. I'm gonna name it, let's say highlights and hit okay. It's gonna create, let's close it, a curves adjustment layer with that as a mask. Now I can simply just control the highlights. So let's have a look at it. See, now I can independently control just the highlights. Just a side note, if you're having trouble installing or uninstalling these extensions or add-ons, you can use the extension manager. You can use the extension manager to view, install and remove your Photoshop add-ons. Check out the link in the description below to download and learn more about the extension manager and just make sure that the version of extension manager that you download must match with that of your Photoshop. So I encourage you to install, experiment, play, enjoy and try as many extensions as you possibly can. I hope this video helped you and if this did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tip, trick or tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Creating.